I've done a lot of things differently this year. Um, they're actually my inspiration, this group of five seniors. They've, um, what they've done in this program, they're my first recruiting class, they've transformed this program. And, um, you know, it's, it's like when you have a puppy or a young child, you're teaching them things, and then by the time they get it, they know how to walk. And they're able to teach others how to walk and how our way is right now. And um, that makes my job a lot easier. So um, I don't have to be in their face yelling and screaming and doing everything that maybe I had to do three years ago. Um, they're well-trained soldiers, and um, I'm so proud of everything they've done. And I'm so excited to look at uh, what they're going to do in the future. Anything else, guys? Um, Talk about the uh, importance of these first two wins. You guys have done a great job controlling the tempo and sure. especially play on defense. Um, just talk about how you've been able to control the momentum of the game and all the success you've had on defense, holding these two teams to nine total shots in these last two games. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's it's been good. Um, really good for us, our morale to go 2-0. and That was our goal for the weekend. Um, and we used our depth. We had a lot of substitutions, and that was really exciting for me to see um, for our team that we were able to get outcomes in both um, situations, and both played us. Both teams played us very differently. So um, I'm I'm excited about what's next for us, and that's uh, Ohio State. I've got got to get looking at Ohio State too. So I'm excited. Um, thing, guys. I have a couple questions yeah. just about today in particular. Um, you had a few seniors that had big impacts today. Sure. I know Kristen had a goal on assist. She got in on the first I guess, three goals of the game. She was involved in it. And Lindsay is always in there, being aggressive, getting corners. So talk about their impacts and how you feel about it. Um, I feel that we're in a good place. Um, they're open to having a push to keep growing, and I'm um, always going to keep pushing them. Um, and like I said, with this year's team, you can just show them some things on video. It's like training a professional group versus um, a first-year team. And uh, I'm proud of the way they stepped up. They uh, assured me today before the game that they're going to take care of things. And um, like I said, they're my inspiration. They're making my job a lot easier. They're doing a lot of things that I've had to do in the past. And uh, that's a great thing. Uh, and one more question. Um, played Northeastern last year. Uh -huh. It was two to one overtime, or not overtime, but the end of the game. Sure. Three Shall we? The game. Yeah. So with all these returning starters, and I think the other team had a lot of returns too. What do you think was different about this matchup? Um, I think we've grown tremendously over the years. Um, over the year, um, Iona Holloway coming into our system, we've just um, really strengthened, and we had an excellent, excellent spring. Um, so I think it just comes down to motivation and um, sheer will. It wasn't the prettiest game today. I thought it was god awful ugly, um, <laughs> honestly. But the the will of a senior and these kids um, know nothing else. I mean, look at what they've accomplished over three years, and um, they're committed to getting the result. So thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, thanks, coach. Thank you. Two wins. Yeah. Opening home stand, scored your first goal of the season. How does how do the first two wins feel? Good. I mean, we wanted two wins. We got two wins. It wasn't always pretty, but we have a lot of work yeah. on, and it's just good to walk away with two Ws on the weekend. Yeah, where's the second? Two games, you right, held your two, uh, two opponents to nine total shots on goal. Talk to me about how much success you're having on Ryan. Um, we have a lot of contributors this year, and that's including a lot of good defenders. So we're able to work hard, sub when we need to, so we're always applying good pressure going after it. Um, um, we have a lot of communicators in the back, and that stands for good organization. Um, there's a lot of depth on this team, a lot more substitutions than in past years. Um, how are you guys? How do you um, feel about how the team's meshing in the chemistry of this team, especially with all the depth that you have? Yeah, we have one goal, and that's to win national championship. We're taking it day by day, but um, we share that common goal, so no matter who's on the field, uh, we're cheering for them. We have a lot of contributors. It's really exciting to see the freshmen contribute, the sophomores, our newcomers, and um, we're learning how to work together. We're getting good rotations in, and we're all just getting a feel for each other.
you're hitting the road for six straight. Three of those teams are in the top 20. Yeah. Um, I mean, you got two good wins here at home, so you guys ready to hit the road? And how do you think? How do you feel that you guys will be able to adjust? You know, you have to play the best to be the best. You got to beat them to be the best. So nothing like a challenge. We're prepared. We're ready. We're not afraid of hard work. And it shows today it might not have been pretty, but we're ready to get the W. And we got one goal. That's the win. Goal and assist. Breakout scoring day. Two wins here at home. How's it feel to get off to such a good start? It feels great. Um, we're excited just to be able to start the season and look forward to what happens next. You guys have really been great at controlling the tempo. You've been great on defense as well. Um, how have you guys been matching defense with this year? Um, we're doing good. We just are working hard every day and um, just going after it. You guys are hitting the road for six straight now. Two teams are in the top five. Another one's also ranked. So, how do you feel these two wins here are preparing you and also hitting the road for such a long period of time? Um, they, I mean, obviously, there's a lot we can improve upon, and there's a lot, a lot of things that we did well. So, we're just going to keep building, keep growing, and um, just take it one game at a time. A lot of depth on this team. I was just asking you to talk to show me about. There are a lot more substitutions, a lot of rotations this year. Um, how do you think that's going to help you um, down the road? Like next year? Um, it definitely helps with um, being able to you know when you're in there working, your, working really hard, and um, it, it gives you an incentive just to make the most out of each moment you get to play. Well, I think Preston's really strong defensively. Uh, uh, these two teams to nine shots on goal. So why so much success? And you can talk to me about how much success you're having. We work a lot on our defensive structure and our outletting, so we maintain patience and confidence coming out of the backfield and just pick and choose our times when to tackle and then when we can get it out. On paper, you guys have two wins, but what do you think the team can improve upon in the next two games? There's always a lot of things we can improve upon. Um, our set pieces coming in and out of the circle, um, attacking and our defending. I think we're going to want to be you guys are hitting the road for six straight. A lot of those, two, three of those teams are in the top 22 or in the top five. Um, how do you think? How do you uh, feel? You guys are going to be able to adjust on the road and prepare for those teams that are in the top five. I think we have a lot of work to do in practice the next couple of weeks, but we'll have a couple game plans set, and then we'll just have to work to follow them and keep up our attacking mentality. Thanks, Lindsay.